In this demonstration, we're going to talk a little bit about styling Oracle Redwood application. So what you see here is a simple Redwood application. We have several components and we're gonna show you some capabilities that you can do now with the Redwood theme. So first of all, the Redwood theme is the default look and feel that Oracle provides, but you can now overwrite the behaviors and the look and feel that we provide. To do that, you can go to your application settings and over here, if you're using the Redwood theme, you would also see a Create button. If you click on it, it's going to create a CSS that would allow you to override the behaviors of the Redwood theme. Now, by default, everything here is um, inside the remarks uh, because we don't want to override everything. And you can extract things that you want to override outside of the remark area. So, for example, we can look up here uh, the button part, okay? And this is, for example, how you define the style for a default button in Redwood. If you want to override something, you can pick up, for example, this section, okay? And we'll just put it outside of the comment area over here, and we'll close this one. And instead of having this sizing, which is based on one of the variables here, uh, we can do something like 2.5 REM over here, like that. All right, so now let's look at how this impacts our page. Okay, and you can see now the buttons have rounded uh, borders. Okay, and this, by the way, would apply to any new button that you would drop into this application. So if you take a new button, drop it over here, it's going to have the rounded corners. So this is how you can override behaviors. And again, uh, you would see that there's a bunch of variables here for everything from colors to formats to fonts uh, that you can override as needed. Now, again, this is an override that overrides everything. In some cases, you might want to have a specific um, style that um, overrides a specific component. For example, um, maybe we want to change the color of one of those fields. Um, for example, let's add an input text component um, down here, and maybe we want to change the style of this component. So the proper way to do this is again, to define a style. You can do it over here in this file, or potentially if you want, there's also the app CSS where you can extract those to a separate file. It's up to you. So in this case, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create our own style. So we can call it, for example, the yellow style. Okay. And um, then we're going to look up the definitions for a regular text field. And we can pick up one of those and override that one. So for example, this line that defines the background color. So we're going to pick this up, go back to our class over here and just insert it here like that. All right, so again, this is the default and we can say we want it to actually be something else. Let's do a yellow one. Okay, so now we have this yellow style here. Uh, you need to have a dot at the beginning, okay? And then you can go to your page and for a specific instance of the item, you can go over to the class property, okay? and add this yellow style class here. Then if you do a refresh, this item becomes yellow. And again, if you bring in another text item, it won't be yellow, it would have the default look and feel. And the last thing I wanted to show you is support for cases where you have some dark backgrounds and you want to invert the colors of components. So for example, let's take this area of the page. Um, this is a form layout that sits inside a panel. And we can go over to this panel, for example, and override the style okay, to set, for example, the background color to be gray. Okay, like that. And as you can see, now it's a little harder to read, for example, the tabs over here. So one of the things we now support in Oracle Jet is you can pick up a component like the form layout and you can look up the class property and you can use the OJ color invert class. 
And when you do this, we take the components and we invert the colors. Now we don't support it for all the components yet, but a lot of the components are supporting it. And it would be nice to see basically what we have here now. So the text, uh, you have a black background, okay? You can see the tip here, the tooltip here is yellow. When you type, the text is in white. And you can again compare it to the coloring in a normal layout. Uh, similarly, if you click here on a tab, this is how we highlight it on a regular background. If you're on a dark background, we're going to have a different color again, white with a yellow kind of underline. So these were some ways that you can customize the look and feel of Oracle Redwood uh, theme-based applications. Again, if you're planning to incorporate your applications into the Oracle Cloud apps, you should probably just keep the Redwood theme as is. It already implements the best practices and everything that we learned from designing modern applications.